the issue of the purpose of life. You have to realize who you are. First and most important thing. Once you know who you are, then you can try to figure out what the ancient scriptures say about what you are supposed to do. And many religions have set the same thing again and again. Now, yeah, coming to the last lecture, it's mostly about the nature of your dimension, the thing inside you, you know, what it is. You will get a better picture of um, what to do if you know who you are. Who am I? It's an eternal person. Now it's 
Sia, Sabata Kawale, Miss Dunma, the scripture is the book found in the Ostasian Bible, but it is found in the Roman Catholic Bible. Papa, can you read this too? For wisdom is more mobile than any motion. Because of her pureness, she pervades and penetrates all things. For she is a breath of the power of God and a pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, nothing defiled gains and keeps in her. For she is a reflection of eternal light, a spotless mirror of the working of God and an image of His goodness. The Lord brought me forth as the first of His works. Before His deeds of old, I was appointed from eternity. From the beginning, before the world began, before the mountains were settled in a place, before the hills, I was given birth. I was there when He, God, set the heavens in place. When He marked out the horizon on the face of the deep, then I was a craftsman at His side. This is the Holy Spirit. Note that it says that she is the breath of God. Do you remember what the Genesis said? <laughs> God formed dust and breath, breath of life. This is the power. <laughs> and this breath goes into millions of people through hundreds of years. <laughs> but it is the same God. <laughs> Bible called Holy Spirit. The Hindu called Purusa. Then the Buddhist had a special term. She is the Adi Buddha, the Avaro Kastivara, the first of the emanation from the formless Brahman. That is what Buddha mentioned in Kala Chakra Tantra. So when I compare our seer, we all say the same thing. That God emanated into the world. The first form was Avaro Kasivara, the Adi Buddha, and this is the power which keep on uh, coming into your womb, your mother's womb, uh, all the time. You know? And this power reincarnates millions of times. This is the real doctrine of Narasina, trying to tell the Marinda. The Holy Spirit reincarnates itself. Millions of time. This is the real reincarnation. This power is the first of what? The emanation from God. You can understand it now. Aura Kasivara, Adi Buddha. So the Buddhist call her. Aura Kasiva, she's the Milky Way. From God, power comes down uh, through the Milky Way. And then for the Milky Way, uh, the power envelopes our world. And when your mother is pregnant, a bit of it going, a bit of it going. Uh, uh, That's why I venerate Kuan Yin. Because I know who she is. God formed many of that birth into the nostril, the breath of life, then the thing become a living soul. The breath of life is this one. Stated this Christian of Solomon is not in this Bible. But it's in the Roman Catholic Bible. Did you know the Roman Catholic Bible is the most accurate? You have seen this before. God is the origin of everything. God is a message for the world. It is somewhere in the center of the Bible. And God demanded to form a man plant, animal, so on, come down there. And there's so many ancient legends that God originated everything. Giants call the legend of Pangu. The giant who created the universe and then he died, his blood has filled the whole thing, his breath goes there, his 
无你多解。所以你是别人，你是帮助，哎，那你在社会上面，嗯。
he can now I came to a certain extent. How do we do it? We are the computer. That technology. This is what happened. Your special scientific ability is like a key. He does not have the key. So you cannot see God. But you can. So you must try to understand this as a explanation for the phenomena. I put it because I want to show you that. It's God in hell. But there is no hell. He can't be there. That one is true. There's no hell. There was so please try to get some indication. Who am I? You are in many nations. An immortal invention of God. Don't let people block you out of this thing. This is what uh, many ancients have been trying to say. You must have self-realization. Now what's the meaning of the word self-realization? Know who you are. Know who you are. That's what the meaning is. But how can you know if you don't understand all this thing? And then many scholars, but I like that. They always say, uh, there is no shadow in you. Oh. Many Buddhist monk, Hindu monk, they will tell you that there is no shakti in itself in you. But what they say contradict the Buddha and the Buddhist Sutra. The Buddhist Sutra and uh, Hindu Buddha say there is a self in you. And Krishna, <laughs> Krishna say that many times to Arjuna. Your self, my self, Purusa self, 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 self. So, uh, what happened to uh, the original Buddha? Show you are God, you are the Atma uh, uh, self. One day you go back to the Purusa self. But then the early Buddha, then later on, the Upanishad came, they distorted the throne. Same with Buddhism. Buddha also teach shell, but later on they say uh, no shell. Now it's very difficult to imagine no shell. No. I give a very good example. <laughs> King Marina asked Nagashina again, hey, your doctor is a shell. Uh, I want to ask you. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, so Nagashina said, hey, your medicine. You left the golden chariot, right? Now look, your chariot has the wheel. How much for? That's part of the place where you stand in this area. There is a chariot, isn't it? Your Majesty said yes. Now what will happen, Your Majesty? If I take away the wheel, I break uh, the stand in it, and on the ground, uh, you got all different pieces of the chariot. So, Nakashina asked the king, Where is the chariot? No more chariot. Only the spoke, the wheel, the pieces of wood. Then Nakashina said, The cell is like that. Chariot actually doesn't exist. It is just the turn you gave to the arrangement of the wheel. Spoke and so on. But I'm sorry to say, Nagasina made a serious mistake in this example. Totally, if there is a challenge, uh, what else is that? <laughs> Who controls the challenge? <laughs> <laughs> the charity. <laughs> Charita, the driver. Now, if you bring up all the, 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 the wheel on the stage, huh? what is that? Charita. Yeah. <laughs> Charita is yourself. Yourself drive the chariot. Your body is the chariot. But you are the chariot. You don't die. 
This is the very good one. Go to a real that monk uh, miss out something. Can you read the top one? When the Supreme One is uh, means Lord, Master is Atma, enters the body of living. He gathers these senses together, mind and senses, and travel on with them as to be together the few while passing through the flowers. Atma takes something electromagnetic based on mind interacting with senses. The important thing is, Ishvara or Atma or God. He took away something. He came and lived. But when he lived, he took away that thing. What is that thing? My senses. It's Atma or God. Worship. 
but our market is still more. Uh, see what I mean? Uh?
Now under the world, uh, there are millions of information. All this information are not equally important. What is very important is do you know the relationship relation between cause and 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 the result? Cause is the cause of. If you know the law of cause, action cause, action cause, action, you will become the Buddha. <laughs> you don't need to know anything else. <laughs> but the problem is, what do you mean by cause? Action, this is the problem. <laughs> now, how do you study the journal? Because Charlie Kutta is one of the few fellows. Before he met Buddha, he has been going around to see Mahaguru Tonyalim. <laughs> you could see Mahaguru Gary Tan Sisin. He has been talking to Mahaguru Pepperlin. He has been talking to Mahaguru Jasilin. Sarupra has talked to Mahaguru Yinchang and he has also talked to Mahaguru Chin. So this man uh, already know many things. So when Buddha speaks, uh, at once uh, all the information uh, comes together and realize uh, what Buddha meant. You get it? You can never answer this type of question like Sarupra if you don't have brain knowledge. It doesn't come like that. It can never come from meditation. It can only come when you have consulted the uh, Guru Tony, Guru Gary, Guru Pepper, Guru Chan, Guru Jesse, and Guru Chen. You don't hope to know it through uh, just like that, like instant noodle. Uh, it's impossible. So, uh, Sai Putra, he was the two top student of Sanjaya. So, he thought that Sanjaya was the number one Hindu philosopher. So, he knows a lot. But when he listened to Bra, he was to open up and he immediately rushed to see Mamura Dana and tell his friend, hey, this is what Buddha said. And then on the spot, Mamura Dana also converted himself into a Buddhist. And that was how Buddhism started up. What caused suffering? How do we end suffering? This is what Sariputta knows. <laughs> Concerned about causes that when you want to build a skyscraper, when you want to build a skyscraper, you must know what the many factors that support the skyscraper, and then you build it up. Buddha is not concerned about this kind of knowledge. His knowledge is your purpose of life is to find answer to the question of suffering and give. Train up your arm. This is the secret. No, no, you are very focused on. That's why sometimes when you do self realization, you must also concentrate your mind. That's why talking about uh, don't let your mind be endless. Uh, Simply thinking of unrelated topics. You must focus. What is suffering? Oh, Buddha, what is your recommendation? Oh, Patanjali, what do you say? Hey, Jesus Christ, what is your version? So I, I learned. So, what is a legend? It was checked by the. 
issue is dharma, not any dharma, but the dharma that concerns causal action decision of suffering. It has to be focused on the issue of suffering. Then only you can help people. Then only you can help the people who are suffering. If you don't know, uh, you better don't interfere in your life. Yeah. You find it, you see uh, all the great thoughts uh, in the meditation. They form your armor of God. They crystallize in the unseen world. They become your armor. You know. uh, Tony, I hope you understand. So you better go and buy diamonds to try. <laughs> <coughs> you can give a copy. Like, you can sell a copy of diamonds. <laughs> No, totally. This is what is bad about many meditation classes. They will tell you uh, concentration, concentration, but the student do not know what to concentrate on. You know? and many and many other men in this kind of silent meditation. You know, uh, Papa, you know how long is silent meditation? One hour, two hours. Sai Guru, eight days. Ah, what is it? Eight days, no. you throw it eight days, ah. you, you start, you cannot even talk to people. <laughs> and then they say, ah, wonderful. They are my like, zombie. <laughs> One hour or so, they sit Two hours, then one day, uh, oh, eight years, uh, cannot talk. I think Gary will die. He's not <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Now, all phenomena are right, of course. Uh, correct, this is correct, conventional one. It was given the study to try who was looking in for the purpose of mind. <coughs> without, disputing, <laughs> without disputing the conventional interpretation, the meaning can be extended. Uh, purpose of life is to develop and become karma or cause action. The very thing you are learning becomes your illusion. That is what the lesson is about. Uh, you are not only do good for the sake of goodness. You do good because this goodness is going to determine the strength of your armor. Of course, doing good for the sake of goodness is good. Yeah? But now you've got additional motivation. It will also help you create your armor. So you have two tools. But with one stone, you are not a constellation of a bump of pride. Ah, you get more than you hope for. Uh, to re-emphasize that, uh, rock, water, metal, they were eventually very they are never eternal, but words and thought are eternal. The physical body is composed of earth is mortal, but the entire form by words and thought is eternal. That's a firm uh, that shows you all uh, this kind of thing, you know, that the word is eternal. We have seen the firm many times, and I think people like Papa love to see that firm. Uh -huh. The matter, huh? have you seen the, the movie Matrix or not? You haven't? Matrix? 
You are simple. In this film, uh, the real world is made of good data measure. <coughs> I imagine this fellow who created this film is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You see, you may say it's a metaphor, no. He may be very alright. The call is like that. So, if you want to know what to do to develop the armor, you go back to step 3 and 4. I've already gone previous the lecture to you. <coughs> now, this one is very, very uh, important. <coughs> the Hindu religion is that the God until one day the world emerged. Swipe by the beauty of that world, the God indulged until they forgot their origin. Ever since then, the poor God has to endure countless birth in order to re purify himself. This, of course, is the usual Hindu legend of the purpose of reincarnation for that God. Now, this situation surprisingly is hinted in the Bible. But can you read this? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You see, before I was said, the world is me. The world is not me. The world was a dream. God eternal with God. Heaven and the world have always existed before. But there was a time in the past uh, when heaven and God uh, met the world. Maya, the illusion. Imagine uh, heaven could see. Uh, Maya is evil. She's very beautiful. So God could not help falling in love with her. But Maya is evil, very destructive. So our poor father had to steal away how to take out the poison out of Maya, the illusion. We follow me because his eternal form is goodness. He realized that he can neutralize Maya's structure by incarnating into the world. He brings his goodness to neutralize Maya's evil and turn her into a everlasting life. Om Manipadu Om. This is the great secret. You are here to do this. You not only keep your armor, you are going to say, Maya the illusion. For a third purpose. Uh, one, two, three. So, Amen. Long time ago, I was old, I, I already know this, but I couldn't figure out why. Last time, I already know that God was trying to save the evil world, but I didn't realize that it's Maya. God had no heart to kill her because she was so beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, I'm weak. I'm weak. You cannot say. But. We are admire people who love so great. But luckily, God found a way. Uh, and 
You are born uh, to help 